Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see the next topic, power types. So what is a power type? Here, you can say group of this in terms of bytes, word or double word. Okay. So uh, for example, one bit type or one byte type, one byte means eight bits, right? One word means 16 bits or one double word means 32 bits. That means here if you see, you know, tag management list as we have created many tags here. Okay. But having different data type like uh, some sign 32 bit, 16 bit value, binary tag. Okay. So even if I create a binary tag or a 32 bit tag, is considered as one tag. So now let's start off by having a license, right? So you can see when I select uh, in the main VCC Explorer tag management at the bottom, external tags 25, license is for 1024. Means I'm having the license of creating 1000 tags, but here I have created how many? 25. Okay, till now. Okay, that means even if I create a single bit tag or a 32 bit tag, okay, double word tag. So it takes it counted as one tag. Okay, so that is a limitation, right? 1024 tags is a limitation. If I need more tags, then I need to buy another license package. Okay, power pack packages are available that we need to buy. Instead of that, if uh, we consider that saving the tags here, okay, suppose I'm having, uh, for example, motor one, motor two, motor three is there, right? So for these three tags, why should not I group them, right? Why shouldn't I group them, okay? So suppose if I'm uh, grouping 32 tags, <clears throat> here you can see, for example, uh, a word, okay, QW0. Q W zero word okay one word means how many sixteen bits so in one word we are having two bytes right Q B zero and Q B one here for Q B zero there are eight bits again so the addressing is starting from Q zero point zero zero point one two three up to seven right similarly for Q B one Q one point zero to Q one point seven so if I expand them like this so how many bits here total sixteen bits right. So I will be having a bit number like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up to here. Then for Q0.0, it is starting from 8. 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So total 16 bits, right? So till now we are used to addressing up to Q0.5, right? So still two more addresses are remaining. Suppose if I want to use Q0.6 address, okay? So what will be the bit number for this? It is 14. Means I'm grouping the bits. So here I created a single tag as a word tag for 16 bits. So that is one tag, right? So in that, how many remaining 15 bits, right? Another 15 bits. So I'm saving 15 tags here, right? I'm saving 15 tags. If I'm creating a tag with a 32 bits, I'm saving 31 tags, okay? So one tag I'm creating in that, I can use 32 bits, right? So one is one bit is for that tag. So another uh, 31 tags you are saving here by including all the bits in one double word, right? So that is the advantage of using power tag. To create a power tag that's unsigned, <clears throat> it should be unsigned because uh, here we are not using any value. We are not storing any value in this, right? So it is a output address or input address also we can use. Okay, so here we are storing the status. Okay, we are not uh, storing any values. That's why we have to do, use it as an unsigned. If it is a signed value, I'm saying signed value means we are storing some value, some uh, number, right? So here, <clears throat> this is not a memory, okay, for storing values. Okay, it is for so storing the bit status, okay, single, single bit status, output status, or input status. For that we are using unsigned okay so <clears throat> because it's not a value okay now so this is about the power tag so let's see how to create a power tag here so from this external tag itself 
I create one new tag here, like uh, power tag one, for example. It should be unsigned, okay? Unsigned 16 bit value. And I'm creating this for outputs, so like QW0. Okay, so some output addresses are already used here, like Q0.0, 0.1, 0.2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Okay, apart from that, whichever the bits are left, that also you can use. Okay, so I'm just grouping them. Okay, now <clears throat> so we have to select the bit number from that. Okay, so I just minimize this. So I create one more picture here from graphics designer. Okay, new picture. Rename this as a power tag. Open the picture. Now, here I take some uh, output motor display from library, plant elements, motors. Okay. Motor. Okay. Now, for start stop, I take buttons from Windows objects from standard window. Back over here. Start. One more button. Okay, now for this start button, integrate a command, right? Then we go to the events, mouse, press left. Okay, so here, uh, <coughs> one second, I'll come here. Let's, uh, not from here, we go to the dynamic wizard. Okay, so here in this dynamic wizard, we are having some predefined scripts. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> that is in standard dynamics. Okay, means when I press this button, you can see we are having setting or resetting a bit. Okay, for power tag, we have to use this property. Okay, in an under dynamic wizard. Okay, so select the start button. In this, go to the standard dynamics under dynamic wizard, standard dynamics, setting or resetting a bit. Under option is setting or resetting bits, means multiple outputs you want to enter. Okay, means operate. Okay, so here a bit means a single bit. Okay, so we are going to operate a single bit here. Only one output is there. So I select double click on this. Let's say next. Pressing left mouse key. Next. Here we have to select the tag. Okay, which tag we have to select? Power tag. And this power tag, please choose an action that is set a single bit. Okay, then say okay. <clears throat> set means one. Okay, reset means zero. So which bit number we have to select? Like if I want to operate address Q0.6. So what was the bit number for that? It was 14. Right? Then say okay. Select the bit number 14. Finish. That's it. Similarly, for stop button, select the stop button, double click on setting or resetting a bit. Say next. Same press left mouse key. Next. Select the same tag here, power tag. Here we have to select reset a single bit. Okay. We need to reset. When you press stop, it should reset it to zero. Next, which bit number in that power tag? Okay. The same bit we have to reset. Then say okay. Next, finish. So this is for your start and stop command. Then for your output, go to the object properties, colors. Okay. So here I don't think we need to disable the okay, global color screen. Directly select the colors, background color, dynamic dialog. Boolean 
Let's select the color here. Right. Select the browse. Select the tag. So it should be a power tag, right? So here we have to select the bit number. But if we select Boolean, okay, we don't have an option to select the bit number. So you have to select bit instead of that, select bit. Okay. Here also you can see when you select data type as bit, we have set not set for set green color, not set red. Here we select the power tag for this. Okay. Then you can see it is showing the bit number zero. Okay. So you can change the bit number from here. Click on that. Which bit number? 14. So okay. Okay. Let's see. Save it. Then just check this in the runtime. So when I press start input here, you can see output is on. When you can stop, output is on. If you want to check, you can check in the simulator here. You have seen. Okay. So here this bit uh, output Q0.6 should be on. So when I give start, then this, here you can see Q0.6 is on, right? So when I give stop, Okay, so this way also you can make the logic here. Okay, using power tags. Okay, so in this case, what we are doing, we are saving the tags here. Okay, by creating uh, like uh, many bits as a one tag. Okay, as a word or double word or a byte tag. Okay.